friends. <laughs> Oh, Paul is bloody gorgeous today. Snacks, snacks. Hello, everyone. Me again. Welcome back to X Media X and another weekly vlog. Sorry, it's been a while since we vlogged. I feel like it's been ages since we last spoke. Um, I did try and vlog last week, but to be honest, I didn't leave the house apart from once to go to a Bumble event, and my camera in my bag had moved to a different setting so all the footage from that was uh, bright orange and I couldn't colour correct it so <laughs> it turned out to be the world's most boring vlog in the world uh, so I didn't publish it I am still getting over my flu from Bali that's the reason why I didn't vlog the first week I was back I was so so poorly oh my goodness I haven't been that poorly in a long long time so god knows what I picked up and where uh, but with nearly better <laughs> nearly better i'm still a little bit croaky still a little bit bunged up still absolutely exhausted but we're powering through and we have some new people so if you're new we've got about three thousand new people not scary at all uh hello everybody if you're new and watching this vlog you're probably thinking oh my god she looks so rough uh but this is what we do on the weekly vlogs <laughs> we just bear all for everyone to see and uh, it's just real life so hopefully you enjoy so it is monday morning today and i am off to birmingham for a meeting this morning um hopefully gonna get some coffee on the way i'm gonna take toby with me because he needs to go on the train um for the first time it's been i've been meaning to do this for ages um but there aren't many places in birmingham that are dog friendly but i got emailed the other day about a place called head of steam which is very dog friendly in fact they encourage you to bring your dog in fact they often take photos of your dog and put it on the internet because they love dogs so much so i thought i would take him with me we'll go on the train and we'll have the meeting there um i'm just basically meeting my pinterest specialist to get uh, a little bit of a rundown after she's done a bit of a overhaul of my Pinterest. <sighs> and I'm taking Matt with me because he's going to be doing some social media work for me on my new business venture, which I cannot tell you about just yet, but I'm excited. And as soon as I can tell you, I shall tell you. Anyway, enough chatting. I need to get in the shower. I've got 20 minutes till I need to leave because I'm not a morning person, so... <laughs> I've pretty much got my morning routine down to an art. I can like full face makeup, hair, shower, get dressed, everything, and drink a cup of tea in 20 minutes. So let's go. Every morning I'm gonna be here. Why are you crying? Why so many tears? For me, I've been there for you. Look in the mirror and think this through. Something as perfect and pretty as you. I never could leave, you gotta believe. But you think my heart's not there. Cause it's been a while. You keep telling me it's been a while. Let me tell you something. Yes, I know we've been together for so long. I feel on top of the 
the world now. I feel like a genuine kind of girl boss. I, it was just really good. And Toby was so good. He's absolutely knackered now. Uh, he was really good on the train and he was really good in the meeting. We went to Waylon's yard, which are super dog friendly. Like they absolutely loved him in there. And he just sat under my chair and drank some water and chewed on his little Nyla bone, wherever the hell that's gone. Didn't leave it there, did we? Oh, no, it's there. Ooh, so manky. Uh, so yeah, we had a really good meeting. It was great. Everything was great. Um, so just got back now, had a quick sandwich for me lunch. Well, I'm still hungry. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think it's because I haven't eaten much over the past two weeks because I've just been not been feeling great. And for me, my appetite is the first thing to go when I don't feel great. Although I haven't lost any weight. <laughs> so I must have been eating something. Some calories have been coming from somewhere. So my bloody tap has been doing that for a while now and I didn't realise it was constant. I just thought it was like after you've used the taps, it's just, you know, sometimes it drips a little bit. But I've noticed that actually it is consistently dripping and now it's started to just not shut off at all. There's obviously something wrong inside these bits. But my landlord's on holiday and I cannot figure out how to get all this off. I need like pliers and tools and stuff. So I've just put a uh, hair bubble around them because if you lift them up, it stops it. So there's obviously something inside there that's come loose that's stopping them from turning off properly. But that is my makeshift fix for it until my landlord comes back and it's still bloody dripping. All oh, that water that we we're wasting, I'm trying to like direct it into, oh, see? Oh, I should have touched it. I'm trying to like direct it into the washing up bowl so at least I can then use it for something but it's just it's pointless there is so much water coming out of this thing if it's leaking constantly see if you hold them up it stops ah! it's the Love Island final and it's Laura and Paul versus Danny and Jack well I kind of think that we know that Danny and Jack are gonna win um, but I do love Laura I think she's been through so much bless her I think she deserves a 50 grand just for that um, however I do quite fancy her boyfriend so it's a tricky one really I'm still working while I'm watching this. I really, really do need to switch off more. Um, so I'm trying to plan something in at the weekend with a couple of guys, just do something really fun and just not be able to be on my laptop. <laughs> because I think it's, because I haven't really had much on. I've just thought, oh, I might as well work then. And then I just don't ever get any time off. So I need to, I need to start doing that for my little noggin. Oh, Paul is bloody gorgeous today. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't end up getting to sleep until about half past three last night, so I am in the most foul mood <laughs> ever. My eyes are so puffy and sore that they literally keep running, like just just leaking constantly. So it looks like I'm crying, but I'm not. I'm just. I've got no patience whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, it's a good job I've not seen anybody till later because, oh my god, I'm just in such a foul mood. at the end when she says give yourself permission to just do nothing when you're in like corpse pose which is basically the, the lie on the floor pose my favorite pose it just always gets me every time because it just makes me realize how much pressure I put on myself to just like strive to be the best at everything I do and so I think it's a really really good trait to have but sometimes I just get exhausted so yeah yoga's really working for me right now <laughs> just look at me look how red my eyes are oh I think I need a nap so my lovely landlord is going to fix the tap he's going to come back on Friday and just swap it over it just needs a new washery thingy I don't know still dripping like a bugger but my hair bubble seems to have fixed it slightly for now and look I've done my washing up May or may not have been just because the landlord was coming around, but I've still done it. So I'm rocking a little dress that I bought in Bali. I love these wrap round dresses. They're all one size, but they actually fit, believe it or not. 
and uh, I wore this to a barbecue the other week and I was in Birmingham and someone literally stopped me in New Street Station and was like, oh my God, where is your dress from? I'm like, I'm so sorry, I got it from Bali this morning because it was when I just flew, flown back in from Bali and whatnot. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so annoyed. I love it, it's perfect. I wish I could buy, I wish I could have bought like loads of them and then sent some out to you guys because they were super cheap as well. You could probably find them online somewhere. There's no like brand label or anything, but I don't know, if you search for sort of Indonesian wrap dress, you'll probably find some. Oh look, Eddie bought me a lovely bunch of sunflowers to cheer me up and they've gone in my brand new vase that I painted at Pretty Pots. They look amazing. Oh, they've brightened up the room and they are non-toxic to dogs, which is very, very good because my favourite flowers are lilies and they're toxic to dogs. So you can have them, but you just have to put them up high and make sure that nothing drops down. But sunflowers are A-OK. -okay. So we finished pottery painting. I look so, oh my God, look how red my eyes are. I'm ready for bed. Uh, but we're watching a programme on call girls and escorts. It's quite interesting. Ellie's considering a career change. I'm definitely not. <laughs> Morning team! <laughs> I've got um, a gel eye mask that I keep in the fridge and I've just been putting it on my eyes because they are so sore still. I really just couldn't switch off again last night. I didn't get to see them until like 1. Um, and then I was up super early taking Ellie to the train station because she's working in Manchester today. Uh, so yeah, I just dropped off at the station like at 6 something. I am. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I feel a bit crap. I did go back to bed for a little bit because she felt like I was going to get a migraine. I haven't had a migraine in years, so fingers crossed we've um, beaten that off because they are horrible and they affect me for like quite a few days afterwards. Oh, I hated them. I used to get them really badly at school. I used to have to go home from school and just literally lie in a dark room. It's awful. Um, and the doctors were like, it's stress. Stress at a bloody year, whatever we were, year nine ten ridiculous I put so much pressure on myself sometimes i need to stop doing that so today i'm working again on my barley stuff hopefully we'll get the vlog finished um send them over to thai airways to have a look at and then i can get that uploaded for next week and i've also got another blog post to write haven't i uh yeah mm. another blog post to write on um that amazing supplement that gives you like loads of energy <laughs> but funny enough i haven't been taking this week is that a coincidence? There we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to write up a little blog post on that because um, I actually quite like it. So, yeah, lots going on today. And I was going to do another one like five healthy food swaps, but to be honest, reasonably, I don't think I'll get both the vlog and that done and those two things done. So, um, I'm going to pop that off my to do list and do that next week because it doesn't need to be done for like two weeks anyway. I was just trying to get ahead of myself. And I need to stop. <laughs> Just had two really exciting deliveries that both came from the Royal Mail but ended up turning up like half an hour apart, which is a bit strange. Uh, the first one was uh, samples for the Bloom from the Darkness t-shirts that I told you about ages ago. Um, and yeah, I basically had to find a new supplier because the one that I was using before was absolutely ridiculous on postage and either way either people in the UK or people in the US were going to end up paying a fortune for delivery so um, I've had to source a new place to get those from and I've just had a few samples sent through they're not ideal if I'm honest and um, they're not as good quality as I thought they were going to be so I'm going to order some more samples of the next t-shirt up um, might have to charge a little bit more for them but I'd rather it be better quality, do you know what I mean? Because they were just a bit scratchy, so. Um, but the logo looks really good and it all looks great positioning wise and the colours are nice, so. Yes, hopefully they will be going live very soon and I will let you know about that. Obviously all of the proceeds for those t-shirts are going to go to Mind, the charity that is very close to my heart. So um, it's a really, really good cause, but keep posted on that. And the second is a little treat that I bought myself. So at the end of every financial year, if I've hit the targets that I set myself, um, I buy myself a little present, like nothing too expensive, but something that I wouldn't normally buy myself because it's just a bit of a treat. And there is a skirt from neverfullydressed.com that everybody is trying to get their hands on. It's like a leopard print wrap skirt. And it just looks so, so nice. Um, but it's like 50 pounds, 60 pounds or something. And for me, you know me, I shop in Primark. <laughs> so that is a lot of money to spend on a skirt. Um, so I bought myself that. I treated myself to that because I've been wanting it for ages. Um, as my little, well done you, you've completed another year in business treat. And it's just arrived. But the packaging 
it's a bit raunchy. <laughs> the postman just handed it over and was like, um, there you go. I was like, it's just a skirt, I promise. There's nothing dodgy in there. So I'm gonna go try it on. First of all, please excuse the nipples. I'm only wearing a little bandeau thing. It's too hot to wear a bra. Um, but this is the skirt and I love it. The only thing that bugs me is the fact that this design, this pattern is so simple that I could literally whip up this skirt in a day on my sewing machine. Like it would be so easy to make and the fact is they're charging like 60 quid for these. Maybe I should just start making them and selling them on Etsy or something. But the material is really nice. It's like a silky uh, print and it's the best kind of like leopard print I've seen around. I haven't seen, I've seen a few that are quite similar, but none that actually look as good as this. So I'm actually really pleased with that. I got it in the medium large and it's perfect. It's really nice, obviously, with a face full of makeup, done hair and uh, a bra, but it actually looks lovely. I love it. So yeah, it's called the Jasper uh, print. I'll leave a link if I remember, if you can get your hands on it, because it keeps selling out and I can see why. It's very flattering. It's lovely. I like it. I feel like I'm in the jungle with my new bed sheets. These are from Primark. Um, I bought them ages ago, uh, but I put them on for the first time last night and they look really cool. I like them. They're really, really funky for the summer. But I just bought them because I loved them. And I was like, I know that if I don't buy them now, when I actually come to want them in the summertime, they're not gonna be there. So I literally bought these tropical sheets when it was snowing outside, but it was worth it. What are you doing up there? <laughs> in my little cubby hole that I've created. You look very cute, mate. <laughs> so Toby's pet insurance is due and the renewal was like super, super high. So I did a little bit of a comparison, which is always good to do. And I don't know if you saw it, but I did a um, blog post. Look at him in the background. <laughs> He's like, you've been talking about me on the phone. Um, I did a little blog post with Go Compare not so long ago because they have started to do an offer with Dine Card where if you buy insurance through them, you get a Dine Card which is worth like 50 pounds and it gives you like loads of discounts for loads of restaurants everywhere. It was when I was like trying to, it was a, before I went to Bali when I was doing all those restaurant reviews and stuff. That was for that blog post. And I've already got my car insurance. I did that through Compare the Meerkat, uh, Compare the Market. So I get the two for one on the cinema dates anyway. So the only other thing they can offer you is like a stuffed toy thing, which I do not want. Um, although you can sell them on eBay for like 20 quid, but just not interested. Uh, so I, I did it through Go Compare just now and I've got myself a dying card so I can get loads of like offers. It's really good. Cause let's be honest, we've all got like, well most of us have got house insurance, car insurance, and I've got pet insurance as well. So that's three different types of insurance. May as well go through a few different comparison sites and just collect all the rewards. So yeah, I'm excited by that. I might see if there's any offers for tonight. Go for dinner as well as drinks. No, definitely don't eat in front of new people. If they're a weirdo, then you get trapped in for like an entire meal. At least with a drink, you can just quickly finish your drink and leave. <laughs> Right, I'm ready for my date. Uh, I've just done my hair a little bit crazy because I'm gonna be walking to the station, so these curls will drop a lot. So I've done them tighter, so when they drop, it looks what I want it to look like. It makes sense in my head. Uh, and I'm just rocking a little dress from Bali because they're super, super comfortable. And it's really hot outside. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this here because I'm not gonna film tonight, but um, yeah, I'll catch up with you tomorrow or later on today or sometime. Good morning everybody, happy Thursday um, date. Yeah, it went nicely, it was, he was a lovely guy and um, he surprised me with a trip to get a golf which is always fun and I won as well, it was amazing. <laughs> it was like even Stevens all the way around and then he was beating me and then he just lost it on the last hole so I don't know if he did it on purpose but he was a nice guy and then we had a few cocktails and yeah, it was good, it was nice. I'm probably see him again but don't be buying hats just yet. Um, Today is a very exciting day, oh my goodness, Lauren is coming. Haven't seen her in ages. It feels like, I don't even know the last time I saw her. I think the last time she was up, oh God, the last time she was up, I wasn't drinking, so it was April, when I was doing my random dry April, and she wasn't feeling great, and we just hardly got anything done, and yeah, it was just a bit rubbish. So I'm excited today, because we're gonna be filming two videos together. I'm going to be doing something for my Instagram as well and yeah, just having a bit of a catch up later which will be nice. So I'm just cracking on with a bit of a blog post this morning, a bit of a blog post, a blog post. Um, having a cup of tea and then jump in the shower and go pick her up. Oh, exciting. There's children everywhere. Look who's here. Disgusting. <laughs> Look who's here, it's Lucy La Lauren. Hello. Looking fabulous Thank in you. your double denim. So we are going to Primark, so we're doing a very exciting video. We're gonna buy each other outfits. You're welcome. This is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> 
This is really difficult because Lauren has got no fashion sense. Oh, she's behind me. <laughs> They're nice. I think she'll like those. Were you making the clothes yourself? <laughs> you own everything in that photo shop. <laughs> I think I've done really well. How do you feel like you've done? I feel like I've done well, but you own everything in the shop, so we were trying to get things that were different. I think you're going to really like this. I'm excited. I think we're going to hate it, but that's oh. quite fun, isn't it? No! Cheers. <laughs> that was so manly. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> So me and Lauren are going to go and do a campaign for Campo Viejo, the wine. It's their life on court campaign, which essentially means you've just got to go and drink some wine. I like helping. <laughs> it's really cute that we've Doing got it a, for the cause. No, we've got our little basket and our little rug. You're such, you're such a dick. I like know. Personalised wicker. Got my branded wicker. Who do you think you are? X Amelia X. <laughs> we look like absolute weirdos. <laughs> it's just because people are jealous of us on a Thursday afternoon. Definitely. We were both so sweaty. I feel like that video was a success, but it was a fail on the outfit front. I mean, there's no saving this. <laughs> both of our outfits, were te they were terrible. We did quite well choosing things, but some of the things didn't fit me, and I just got, I got you wrong. Things look nice, but it wasn't your style yeah, I knew it, was, it wasn't your style it wasn't that bad but yeah just not my style and then but yeah oh god i think the outfit the out, out outfit looked good on you but it just didn't fit yeah because the, the side yeah the sizing's all over the place mm. but it was fun though yeah now it's snacks time snacks 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 go get some snacks snacks <laughs> feel like we deserve a reward i am so sweaty i look like a tornado so we bought a little scratch card because we're gonna try and get lucky do you want to scratch it Got a shirt. Have you got your slippers on? Yeah, I like wearing these. They're really comfy. You are weird. Give it a scratch. Go on. Let's see if we win. You've got to see and get lucky as I scratch it. Do I? No. 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 Oh no. God damn it. Don't go. God damn it. Lots of pound down the shitter. So we've asked um, the questions. <laughs> that is so awful. We just asked all the questions. <laughs> we just asked all like, the, the questions on Instagram. Like we said, ask us anything. And here's one. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Food group. No, one thing. Pizza. Because then you have lots of different variations. Curry. I knew you'd say curry. I knew you'd say pizza. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, Good morning. It is morning. No, it's not. Is it? What time is it? It's half one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've been so lazy this morning. We've absolutely done nothing. We were going to film another video and then we thought, Do you know what? No, we're going to have the morning off <laughs> and uh, make sure we've got all the footage off each other. So I'm going to edit that today and it will be up next Wednesday. So, um, yeah, exciting. Hopefully, it'll be funny. Is that how you pack a suitcase? <laughs> that is how you pack a suitcase. <laughs> Shuts the it. <laughs> also, I love the fact that you were so trendy yesterday because you knew that we were filming. And this is today. This is comfort to the max. It is look, comfort. Stretch. <laughs> so tonight I'm going out for a curry with my lovely friend Sophie. I look so rubbish. I just, my afternoons just completely run away with me. And I just looked at the clock and I'm like, oh crap, I need to be there like within half an hour. So I just text my friend Sophie and I'm like, I've got no makeup on. My hair looks rubbish. But I'm very excited to see you and eat some spicy food. So. Yeah, that's my plan for the evening. Very excited. This is a really good curry house as well. I haven't been for a while and I could just do with a really spicy booner. Maybe a lamb booner or something. And some poppadoms. Oh, naughty. Good morning, everybody. I'm here with Ellie. Can't see her because she's so little over oh, the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> over the wheel. We're going to Alton Towers today. Very excited. Woo! We just decided that we wanted to do something fun and get out of the house and like really just really properly do something and uh we asked everybody no one could make it so it's just me and you <laughs> as we are. proper losers <laughs> friend, oh no. <laughs> so we've got toby in the back we're taking him to grandma's for the day um we stopped off at starbucks on the way <laughs> to get a coffee because we're both so tired <laughs> we're so good at being fun aren't we yeah too tired for too a roller tired. coaster yeah. when we get there we'll be fine all the adrenaline yeah. and everything will be fine yeah two new roller coasters for you today yeah Smiler and the Wicker Man, and I'm excited for the Wicker Man because I've not been on. I don't even know what 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 the Wicker Man is. <gasps> like what kind of roller coaster it is? Or oh, why we are in for a treat. Oh, 
Yeah. We are in. Very Woo! exciting. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go and ride the Wicker Man at some point today, but the queue's already massive. So I think it's just going to get bigger though, isn't it? We're yeah. just going to have to suck it up. We are. Maybe after lunch, and then we can stand in a queue for an hour, let our yeah. burgers go down. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We've got to think tactically when you come to Alton Towers, team. But it's all right. You're with a professional. Scary. <laughs> but first, pick a mix. Always the first stop of the day. Mm. Last time I came to it was sunny. <laughs> look how pretty the towers look. I'm trying to block the straw in my mouth. I'm like sticking my teeth together. <laughs> look at this, it's huge. It's amazing. Oh, Nemesis has had a nice paint job, looking very fresh. Starting with Galactica. Very exciting. We haven't been on this one yet with the VR. No, no, with the um, visual V. Visual? VR. VR. Virtual reality. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Not without the visual feed. So it turns out that the virtual reality isn't working today. So we're just gonna go on air. <laughs> Lunch time. What did it do? Bloody brilliant. It actually goes a lot faster than it looks. And if you sit near the end of it, like 13, you get a lot of pull on the uh, on the down bit. It was really good. I'm quite scared at one point. <laughs> Pinball Wizard is my favourite roller coaster. I absolutely love it. I've had a fantastic day. How's your day been? Yeah, good. I feel a bit sick. Sweet. Feeling a bit woozy. Yeah. <sighs> Got to drive home now. The worst ride of the day. Hey team, happy Sunday. Please excuse my face. I've just put some fake tan on. Uh, we had such a lovely time at Alton Towers yesterday. It was really nice to get out of the house, to get some fresh air, to ride the Wicker Man, which was wicked. Oh my God, I loved it. Um, yeah, it was just really nice to just get out of the house and relax for a little bit. Today, I've done bugger all. Um, <laughs> I was gonna go and paint some pots and then I just didn't really feel like it. I had the worst nightmare last night. I had like a, um, a nightmare that was being attacked and it was so real. And it's like really affected me today, I don't know why. Oh, horrid, horrid. Um, so I just made myself a stir fry with some protein noodles and some chicken that needed using up. It's pretty much the last bits that were in my fridge for the week. Um, and yeah, I'm just settling down to watch a bit of Orange is the New Black and the final Love Island um, reunion special thing. So I'm gonna leave the vlog here, but thank you very much for joining me. And thank you for being so patient while I was away. Um, I really feel like I'm back into the swing of vlogging now, so that's great. And I've got some exciting stuff coming up for you guys. So it's really lovely that you've been enjoying all the other videos and it's nice to have some new people too. So we hit 28,000 the other day, which is insane. So thank you so much if you are new and you've watched this and you enjoy it. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. Just crack on with my eggs and my toilet roll. Not together. He is a greedy, murderous bastard though, so. Guess what's back in fashion now, bitches? The rainbow stripes.